Currently, the church that you and I both love, the United Methodist Church, is in a period of discernment and conversation about a way forward. That way forward is about our ministry with our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters, about ordination and about marriage. Of course, as in any matter related to the United Methodist Church, whether it's a witness in terms of what is happening in the world, even the way we interpret the scripture, there is not uniformity about our opinions. In fact, we need to understand that unity, which is vital in, to our work and our mission as a church, does not mean uniformity. I can remember as a bishop when I was consecrated six years ago, that one of the things that I heard forcefully in that service was that I was being consecrated to guard the unity of the church. And what I would want to say to you is, is that I have learned not only as a pastor, but as a bishop of the church, that there are many people who disagree about many things. Yet somehow, because we find ourselves united because of our formation as human beings by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus the Christ, we are able to live with our differences, to be united, and to be in unity with each other in terms of our mission to the world. Trust me, I've met people both as a pastor and as a bishop in the United Methodist Church. I've met people who disagreed with me on any number of things. I've met people who disagree with each other in a local church or even in an annual conference. But they continue to love each other and they continue to serve Jesus the Christ in a hurting world, perhaps more than ever before. The world truly needs United Methodist to not be in agreement about a particular issue, but to be a people of unity who are seeking to share the knowledge of Jesus the Christ with the whole world. Our world hurts, and there are people even in our own community who hurt. While I know that all of you who are listening to this may not agree about our ministry related to gay and lesbians, I do believe that we all are in agreement about our mission. So in the coming days, the coming weeks, the month, says that church continues to wrestle with a way forward, could we decide that the most important thing is the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. I invite you in the coming days, uh, weeks, and months to continue to pray for the church and continue to pray for the church's mission. And begin to pray and ask God, not about whether you're right in terms of your opinion, but how God is using you to reach people for Jesus the Christ. Thank you for who you are and what you do. And God bless you.